What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in celebration of the new Star Wars movie coming out, um, I put all the uh, Jedi's and Sith into a, uh, a tier sort of pyramid and um, yeah, I put them into tiers of God tier, first tier, second tier, third tier. So um, obviously I'm going to start at the bottom and work the way up and I'll just go through all the Jedi and Sith. This is just my opinion and I'm only, I'm not um, including anything like that's like story based. It's all about what was in the movies. Like, um, if anything else has been like, uh, there's like rumors about what they did in the gaps. That's not considered. It's only the movie. So this is I don't agree with um, like these are the best Jedi and Sith. But from the movies, what you see, this is what I've what, what I've uh, put down. So um, I might not be right. So if I'm if if you think something else, um, put it in the comments below and um, yeah, we can discuss because. I don't think, these, these aren't my, like if I had to rate it just on personal opinion, this would be different, but this is just off what I see in the movies. So, um, third tier, I'll be going to be looking down a bit because um, that's where the graph is, and um, I'm going to be judging on like the force, obviously, how, like, how they use the force, um, and a lot on who they killed in the movies, um, a lot on like their skills, like lightsaber battles and stuff like that. Um, if they survived the battle with someone and stuff like that. So that's sort of what I'm going to be assessing. Um, so uh, first I've got General, General Grievous. Um, he's, in the, he's in the bottom tier. Um, he does survive an attack with Anakin and Kenobi at the start of um, Revenge of the Sith. But um, he seemed, I think he's like sick or something during the movie and then um, Obi-Wan goes after him and beats him in a battle. So um, General Grievous obviously has a lot of story behind him in the um, in the, the the animated series and he's pretty overpowered I think he um, obviously can build four lightsabers and he's killed a lot of Jedi so but that's not what I'm considering so just keep that in mind I'm not considering any other things except for the movies so um, now we've obviously I've got Snoke there Snoke um, he died like pretty easily I think that was sort of maybe uh, Palpatine's plan to to turn maybe one of the two um, into the like more evil so yeah I think that was sort of um, I think like, a lot of the stuff pa with Palpatine he plans to happen so I think Snoke was meant to die that easily uh, I've got Luke Skywalker on the bottom tier which is gonna cause a lot of heat I think um, my reasoning behind it is he doesn't actually kill any Sith at all he does remove Darth Vader's hand, which is pretty impressive, but you gotta remember Darth Vader is pretty old at this time. But then again, Sith are re like usually efficient when they're older. Um, he doesn't kill Sidious. Darth does. So Blue Skywalker, Walker, he does lose his hand in a battle as well. So he doesn't really um, he do he doesn't really meet the the level of the next people in the tier, in my opinion. But you, I I wouldn't be mad if someone put him in the tier above. Um, then I've got Mace Windu. Mace Windu was a hard one um, because he did knock down um, uh, Palpatine in uh, Revenge of the Sith, which was um, uh, impressive, obviously, because Darth Sidious is like really, really powerful. But um, I think from the movies that that was he Palpatine planned that, so then Anakin would kill Mace Windu, and then. Um, you know, stuff would start happening and Anakin would ch turn to the dark side. So I thought it was sort of fabricated and, um, yeah, Palpatine planned it. So that's my opinion. But again, I can understand because he did have a really good fight with him and it would make sense if he did knock him down and that just all happened by chance. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't be mad if someone put Mace Windu up either, but I've just got him on the bottom tier. Um, Kylo Ren. Ben Solo in the bottom tier. Um, this was hard because he does use the he does heal Ray, which is like crazy. Like we've only seen three people do it. We've seen Baby Yoda do it. Not he hasn't brought anyone back to life, but he has healed. We've seen Ray, and we've seen Ben Solo. But the reason I put Solo on the bottom, um, the first movie of that saga, he uh, loses a fight to Ray, who's never even barely held a lightsaber, and I just thought that was pretty weak. Um, then, uh, yeah, uh, well, then he loses to Ray again. She pretty much kills him and then heals him. And then 
Uh, that like he doesn't he doesn't kill it. The only person he kills is his dad. Like that's any significance, I think. So um, yeah, that's why I've got him in the bottom tier. Um, he has a sick lightsaber, no doubt, and I don't think there's any argument really. But like, obviously, he can heal people, which is pretty OP. So yeah, I guess you could put him up because of that. Um, so yeah, that would make sense, I guess. Um, then I got Qui Gon. I love Qui Gon Jin. I think he's an awesome character. Um, there's a lot of history on him as well. Uh, but he has two fights, both with Darth Maul. Um, he leaves like halfway through one of them, and then the other one he dies, obviously. So that's um, what else can you say? Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's in the bottom tier. Um, <clears throat> The next tier above, we've got a lot of Siths. Um, Darth Vader. I did have Darth Vader in the tier above. Um, but I just really went over it and I really thought, like, he did kill Darth Sidious, but that was like a behind the back kind of like how Anakin killed um, Mace Windu. Like, it wasn't like a battle, it was just like caught him by surprise and killed him. It was like an assassination, I guess. So, that doesn't really judge a character on, like, on something like that. Um, Vader, but he, like, there's so much about him, like, um, Rogue One at the end, like, you can see how powerful he is, and obviously Anakin in the third movie had an awesome fight with uh, Obi-Wan, but, like, he pretty much nearly died, like, he, uh, Obi-Wan could have finished him there if he wanted to, he lost that fight, so, um, he hasn't really, he, he killed Mace Windu, um, but, and then he killed the younglings, and but he didn't kill someone really one on one. Oh yeah, he killed um, Obi Wan Kenobi. Sorry, when he was old though, so that's kind of why I put him in the tier below. If he killed Obi Wan, or I don't know, took Obi Wan's hand in a battle, like in Revenge of the Sith. Then maybe I'd put him up. But I, I hate doing this because if I made my own list, Darth Vader would definitely be the tier above, a hundred percent. Like, but just because off the movies, he like has he is he is portrayed as overpowered, but he doesn't actually do anything against um, another Jedi that's ridiculous, because he does, he does chop Luke's hand, but he doesn't kill him, and then he ends up, Darth Vader ends up dying anyway, so, um, yeah, so yeah, that's um, my opinion on it, um, but I would understand, so I'm putting him the tier above, uh, Count Dooku, really good, but ended up dying, um, he, well, he dodged an attack when he was getting, uh, in the second episode with, uh, Anakin and, uh, yeah, Obi-Wan, then he has a fight with Yoda, which is impressive, and then he leaves, because, uh, Yoda was trying to save Obi-Wan and that, and then, but yeah, um, Count Dooku, really good, uh, lightsaber fighter, I guess you could say, um, yeah, real good, but not quite the level of the next tier. Like, there's no knock on this tier. This, this tier's a real good tier. Like, they could arguably be in the next tier, but I didn't want heaps of people in the second tier. That'd just be... Or the first tier, would be super weird. Um, then we got Darth Maul. Um, awesome lightsaber fighter. Obviously a Sith. Um, kills Qui-Gon Jinn. Pretty much has um, Obi-Wan on the ropes, but, you know, Obi-Wan... Uh, yeah, pulls out a trick and cuts him in half. Um, but he's not dead. So, I guess his uh, story can still be written. I guess he could go up a tier, maybe one day. But at the moment, he's in that tier. So, um, yeah. Um, Yoda, uh, obviously really good with the Force. Um, don't think he kills anyone. Or well, he kills like a few stormtroopers or clones. Uh, but has a real good fight with um, Count Dooku and Sidious. So... Um, surviving a fight with Sidious, I think, is really, really, really impressive. Because um, as you can see in the Re Revenge of the Sith, Sidious is just crazy, and that's why he's in the next tier. Um, Sidious, um, he was, well, he's in all three sagas, so <clears throat> it's hard not to put him up in that tier. Basically, because um, when he gets, uh, when the, when the, uh, with, when Mace Windu and his other uh, Jedi's come, to arrest um, Palpatine, he's like insane, like some of his moves when he does the twist, that's now a meme, um, but it's written, I know I didn't say anything about it written, but it's written that he was insanely quick, and I think they tried to portray that in the movie, but it was kind of just a bit, 
yeah, like it just didn't really make sense. But yeah, you can see he just took down three Jedi's like that, and then I don't know, but I f I think that sort of Mace Windu thing was fabricated. So then um, Anakin would turn on the Jedi's and become evil, and then so yeah, that's why I've got. Oh yeah, and again, Sidious, obviously in the last movie. Um, another like evil plan he's got and then he takes down all the ships with his force or like, with the electric stuff so <clears throat> obviously really powerful if you can do that to, like we've never seen that obviously in the last the episode 9 there was heaps of stuff that was crazy but um yeah that's why I put Darth Sidious in that 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 tier along with um Obi-Wan Kenobi um obviously uh is in two uh trilogies the original and the prequels, um, he takes out Anakin pretty much to the point of death who ends up being Darth Vader, which is um, obviously impressive and um, the reason why I've got him in that tier. Um, also kills uh, General Grievous, so someone that's killed two Jedi, or sorry, well, I don't know what you call Anakin at the time, but I guess he's killed two, basically killed two Sith. He could have killed Darth Vader, but he chose not to, so he's beaten them. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else on the list that has beaten two people on the tier list. I think, um, I guess you could say Darth Vader beat two people. He, um, chopped Luke's hand and then killed Obi-Wan when he was older. So that's why I put Obi up, up there, because he did hold, hold his own when he was older, and he did destroy Anakin. So, and what a scene that was, one of the best in the Jedi, um, uh, in the Star Wars franchise. And then, um... I, this is no argument. I, don't, I think you have to put her at the um, at the top in the god tier because just in the movie, well, let's think about it. In the in, in, in the new trilogy, let's think about it. the first movie. She beats Ben Solo, like like easily. Oh no, it wasn't easily, but she beats him and she holds her own and she's never held a lightsaber basically. And then she in the newest movie she um, she sorry. <coughs> She uh, heals two people. She well, the, she heals the worm, and then she brings um, Ben Solo back to life, which um, we'd never seen before, and was OP. And then she was like, nearly killed Chewie when she was doing that thing to the ship. And like, obviously, she's really strong with the Force. Um, I don't know why it didn't click to me there that she was a Palpatine with the electric thing. Or oh, did I already know in the by that stage of the movie? I don't think you do. I don't know why it didn't click to me that. She was a power team when she did that because you don't really see that very often. Um, but yeah, she's up there. She's killed. She killed the main Sith, a uh, Darth Sidious that no one could do. Um, yeah, she's just and now she's got her own lightsaber. Um, I don't think in a lightsaber battle she would be the like. I think um, Obi Wan was one of the best at lightsaber fighting in the course of the movie. Maybe Darth Maul, maybe Darth Vader, Anakin, Yoda, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think I think her um, her use with the force, and then obviously she um, oh she also beat uh, Ben Solo on that shipwreck. She like oh no sorry that's when she almost killed him and then healed him. That's right when Leia died at the same time. So yeah, I, that's why I've got her up there. Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think heaps of this could change, but this is just based on what you see in the movies. Obviously, you see a lot more of Kenobi, and you see a lot more of Rey. You see a lot more of Vader and Anakin. Um, I, I think it's a bit stiff how I put Luke Skywalker down there, being like the original uh, Jedi in the in the in the series, and then putting him down there. But he just doesn't he doesn't kill any Sith. Vader kills Sidious, and then Sidious technically killed Vader. So um, that's my opinion on it. Um, I'd love to see you guys' opinion on it. Did I yeah, maybe put in like I don't know? You could put in Leia in there. She was ended up being a Jedi sort of because she was doing the training and she knocked down Luke in the in the in the film. So you could say she's better than Luke. I don't know. Um, who else could I put in there? I don't know. You guys put it in the comments who you think could uh, be in this be in this uh, tier list. And um, maybe I'll do a tier list on maybe like what I think. But this is just what I, I see in the movies. And who I think was the most overpowered. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And, um, yeah, get discussing in the comments. Thanks for watching.